Here's your 41 Now update, sponsored by Kansas City Regional Association of Realtors. Hi, Mike Maruzars here are your 41 Action News headlines. Charges could soon come against the suspect in a deadly hit and run. Police arrested a 45-year-old man on Thursday for causing this four-car crash in Overland Park. 20-year-old Samuel Cyber from KCK and 18-year-old Matthew Blotsky died. Right now, the suspect is booked on a charge of failing to stop at an accident that resulted in deaths. After months of renovations and even a name change, the Hy-Vee Arena is finally open. The former Kemper Arena is now the nation's first ever multi-level sports complex. The transfer transformation is expected to bring big business to the West Bottoms after the arena set nearly vacant for years. Now, we talked with the people who work in the area about the arena's opening. It's going to be crazy down here. I mean, we've always had a lot of people, but I don't think that we'll ever have as much people as we're about to have, and I think that we're all really excited about it. The arena has prompted other projects in the area. Construction workers started building a 200-plus apartment complex across from that facility. Some call them exotic pets, but police say they're illegal in the city. Olathe police posted video of a baby alligator on Thursday. They say someone found it under a vehicle. Right now, the gator is at a shelter, and police say he will go to a reptile rescue in Manhattan on Monday. That wasn't the only gator discovered. The other one stopped traffic in Leavenworth County. A woman says it wouldn't move for about 15 minutes. When deputies arrived, they say the gator lunged at one person, as you saw. Eventually, it went home where it is legal to be somebody's pet. And don't forget, this Sunday, you can watch the Chiefs take on the Patriots in Foxborough on 41 Action News. Our live pregame coverage from New England starts at 5 p.m. Then after the game, stay tuned for our postgame show. Your forecast is next. Did you know? A realtor will help guide you through the home buying process from beginning to end. Visit KCRAR.com for more information or to find a registered realtor in your area. I'm meteorologist Gerard Bailey. We are going to be seeing some big changes as we head into Friday. Temperatures are going to stay chilly overnight. We'll be in the 40s at 10, dropping to the 30s later on. And then a disturbance is going to roll in, bringing us some cold rain as we begin the morning. So showers likely at 7 a.m. all the way through lunchtime. And temperatures not getting out of the 40s tomorrow afternoon. But by the lunchtime hour to the early afternoon, most of the rainfall will start to move off to the east. So we'll start to see the metro dry out by the late afternoon. Evening plans should be mostly dry here with just a stray sprinkle. Saturday right now is looking fairly dry, a little bit warmer with temperatures in the 50s. But as we head into Sunday, another disturbance is going to roll in and we're looking at at least more cold rainfall likely on Saturday night and Sunday, even seeing some snow in parts of western Kansas. Some of that snowfall is going to approach the area, but may stop just short near the Manhattan Topeka line. But we'll have to keep a close eye on this as some of the data is trying to put a few snowflakes mixing in there late Sunday night into Monday morning. But for the most part, we're just expecting cold, rainy conditions. Remember, get all your latest news and weather updates anytime on KSHB.com. Look around our streets, our communities, our children. Now more than ever, we need the crime. We need the violence to stop. At 41 Action News, we say enough is enough. That's why we're taking action with Safe KC. Not just reporting the problems, but showing solutions with stories of hope, stories with answers. Because violence knows no race, no city, no zip code. Watch Safe KC only on 41 Action News and KSHB.com.